G'day nuclear enthusiasts, or those of you that like to watch the world burn. Today we'll be trying to melt the reactor core down once again, but with a more hopefully effective method using the crane like I've been talking about all through season three of Nucleari. So that's what I plan on doing today, regardless of what we're demanding or what we're outputting to the grid or anything like that. We're just going to go over here and we're going to destroy these control rods. And I haven't used the crane in an extremely long time since I ran out of fuel while I was testing things out. And I got stuck in the middle right above the water itself and I couldn't get out. So I had to fall to my death pretty much. Like including many times I've tried coming back to this platform but missing ever so slightly and still missing. It's just... It's just been absolutely crazy using this crane. So we'll see how we go as like you press forward, it goes right. So let's see if we can, oh yeah. See, it goes forward. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? See if we can view it this way. So we're above the core now. Rotator rail, so obviously spinny spin. Uh, let's go horizontal gripper. That spins as well. Can we, vertical gripper, here we go. So now we're coming on down into the water and what I obviously plan to do is destroy everything so let's go to the cabin crane and see if we can one two three four oh can't reach that one five six seven <laughs> hopefully I don't get radiation poisoning just for the time being uh, I need rotator, rotation, and boom, there's all of them done, uh, let's go four, let's hopefully go back up, just trying to learn the controls still, so we're all the way up, whoa, camera kinda had a moment, let's see if we can come oh, over here, oh. I don't know what I'm getting stuck on, I need to come all the way back, if I can. Okay, this gets really difficult, unless it's because I've rotated. Hopefully that fixes it. No, no, why can't I move? And when it's in so close, yeah, it's over there. So, oh, the things behind me, so I need to rotate it a good 90 degrees, and then I should be able to. That was what was stopping me from doing it. Ah, there we go. And then I should be able to come all the way back over here. X, yes, excellent. Okay, cool. So now we'll try and take the stairs a little slowly, because I don't want to lose life, but I really need to get back to the reactor control room as soon as humanely possible stairs allowing oh yeah <laughs> even when i walk down straight it still does it it's like you stub your toe and half your life is gone oh all right now i can run again going on upstairs we will definitely need to request a maintenance shutdown thank you editor sharpie and see how we're going through all of this. Yes, rod integrity, all reds. Not really what you want to see, to be honest. And we might as well set that to zero, because that's what they're at, or that's what they're set at the moment. So while we're there, we want to cause as much damage as possible. So let's get rid of all of that boric acid that's controlling our temperature and reactivity. And see how we go with that. Um, there may be a take three where I do the exact same thing and I'll just go ahead and do the vessel pressure. So I'm going to do a quick save, um, T3, maybe, yeah, take three, maybe, as this is take two, so, yeah, because our, our boron filter pump is coming up to value, so now that'll do it. 
Uh, we will be dropping power very, very fast. So once again, we need to turn these onto automatic. This onto manual. And we'll start that generator right now with full fuel. So that should be A-OK -okay there. And I don't care. I'm melting the core down and blowing stuff up. So one of the synchros has been kicked off because we're not producing anything in generator 2. All right. So since we've destroyed all those, let's see if we can stop transferring any heat away from the core. So let's turn these off. And since we have reloaded episode 15 or the end of once more, we still have that somewhat bug where loop three consistently drops in value regardless of temperature. So until we fix that up in episode six, uh, episode 17, after shutting down, uh, that doesn't get fixed until then. And we're losing quite a lot of water in our condenser. So let's just top that up very high on the reactivity level we want that to be at least 20 max it out absolutely good let's see how we're going on this we're about 200 or so down oh there goes that wait for the batteries to kick in the generator should turn on any second no so i'm not really going to bother with that just yet as the only pump we're really wanting to be on at the moment is this one to increase our reactivity even more so than what it is. There we go. And now it's on. And while we're there, let's turn that off. Condenser is filling up. That was the other pump we had on. That can be turned off as well. Uh, not producing any power. Resistors off. Don't need them. These are off already. And I'll turn that on to zero to show that there's nothing set. It's nothing on all that good stuff and now we're just waiting for the temperature yep you've had to disconnect me yep i really don't care to be honest we want to blow stuff up low volume in gen 3 that's fine that's this one here that i was talking about just before so once again i'll see if i can try and mute as many alarms as i possibly can or at least the major ones Here we go. The temperature of the reactor core has reached a critical level. So right there is when I'll go and get my old crap suit on. Just in case things go bad and cause the meltdown and the radiation will leak into this room just about regardless of the blast door or not. Even though it does close automatically when it gets to that point. So yeah, hopefully it will be higher than 750-ish degrees. I think our max was in the first try, but we'll see how we go. Huh, <laughs> try and hit the emergency stop button now. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything there. And it's not going to do anything over here either. Neither will hitting the scram. Danger alarm. Wait for it. They give, give us an ear bleeder or no? No? Okay. 78. Pressure's still going. Um, I'll leave that on for now maybe I think that's what I did in the first try as well can't quite remember outer core vessel is still full the inner core vessel is bouncing all over the shop for the fact that it's creating steam and doing all sorts of weird stuff in the background still coming up in value and in temperature reactivity is definitely dropped like jumping all over the shop probably because of the amount of xenon and iodine and all that sorts of stuff that we've created 
53.63 on the iodine and about 30 or so on the xenon, which is the 30 on the xenon is roughly where we saw it last time from my notes. And then this is about 27 points above where it was at 26.07 previously. There's 750. Hopefully we'll keep on going. Pressurizers going all over the shop. Having a good old time. 760 degrees roughly almost. There it is. So let's just get rid of that alarm for now. Hmm. I don't want to speed the time up if I don't have to. Oh, 760. Maybe with the pressure it was just dropping temporarily, but go on, keep going. I want at least maybe a thousand. Oh, it's dropping again. It's kind of flatlining here. Maybe turning the pressurizer off. And just letting it go. So we've dropped severely. We're dropping on the external vessel, as shown by the mini message there. Nice good green glow. Dropping very fast. Yeah, see, we're just dropping in temperature. Let's see what happens when I open these up. Seems to be going back up again. Yep, good. May or maybe. I might have spoke too soon. Oh, we finally get our major alarm. Looks like we may be going back up again. That's good. It'd be interesting to see, I can't quite remember if the first time I did it, when I yanked these out and like turned the pump on, if I turned the pressurizer off as well at the same time or not. Hmm. Yeah, overall it's going down again, so I think that's perhaps another failure. Let's go 2x speed, see how we go. But I'm pretty sure that is it again for take two. Is this dropping down at all? Kind of watching the temperature it's stabilizing there for a second 6404 yeah it is dropping oh there goes the temp oh temperature oh up down up, down down oh god It's weird, after all of this, we're not using any fuel, just about. Yep, 
Yeah, the reactivity is extremely high. Close these off as a last ditch attempt. And then start those two again. Oh, there's a temperature spike. And there goes the temperature spike. Yeah. Yeah, because there's nothing in there just about. Unless I dump some in there. curious let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll do this again after this video releases so i can see those comments and go further and record maybe next weekend for your next week if that makes sense so make sure you like comment subscribe all that good jazz and stay sharp till next time as always see ya